Okay, so let's start adding some data annotations. The first thing I'm going to do is specify that this date time is actually a data type of date by using the first data annotation data type bracket data type dot date curve bracket square bracket and then the second line I'll say display format curve bracket data format string is equal to the format of the actual um, string that I want when it is displayed and then apply format in edit mode true and save so whenever I actually display this um, birth date value on the screen it's going to show it in this format as is shown in the curly brackets next we have to go to our register.cshtml and tell uh, the actual input box it's a type of date and not date time is by default showing date time. Okay, and that is it. Whoops. Okay, and so now if we were to play, and start up our application, and go to register. As you can see from the drop down, it's a list of values rather than uh, having update values rather than also having time. So let's make a test user. Test. Test123 at gmail.com. Let's make it 1235, I guess. And now let's put in a password. Okay, now click register, and we created our account with just the date value, rather than having to put in the time. So now let's add a couple more data annotations to make our uh, input form make a little bit more sense. 